all my piercings are swelling up and I am not a fan. As God was on my side today, I literally woke up at 9.30 in time for a McDonald's breakfast. Ordered it, ate it, went back to sleep. Okay, let's get ready for the day. So I do actually have a soul cycle class booked for 5.30, but I'm not going. Like, oh my God, what the fuck is going on with my hair? I'm not going because honestly, I did a double yesterday and I'm in so much pain that I'm I'm not gonna do it. I also did do a Barry's class yesterday, which is probably accounting to the pain. But I have realized that whenever I do a deadlift, like I think my posture's off because I wake up with really bad back pain and I just don't think that's meant to happen. But anyway, I'm going to Winter Wonderland this evening. I haven't been in a couple years, obviously COVID. Um, so super excited. Now you have to pay to go to Winter Wonderland, which I think is absolutely insane because it was free, but whatever capitalism I guess but yeah I'm going to Winter Wonderland with Eli and her best friend and then we're gonna go have some wine so let's get ready for that uh just going in with this Medic 8 blemish control pad um haven't used these in a while I don't actually know if they're in date but once we get ready let's just have a little chit chat oh my god there's something in my nose ew anyway um so my new meds are giving me brain zaps and I don't think that's meant to happen when you're taking your meds. I've had brain zaps before, like whenever I forget to reorder my sertraline, like three days in, I'm like, oh my god, it is actually time to jump off a cliff. But now I just wake up every morning with brain zaps, so I'm like, okay, I guess that's a thing that's happening. Um, so not really too happy about that. But that's the only update there. I woke up, had McDonald's, and then went back to bed, and then woke up, and then decided I was not going to go and work out today, which so true queen you know but yeah we're gonna get ready together we'll do my skincare routine makeup routine i'm literally just gonna slick my hair back into a bun like i do all the time but yeah i'm a bit confused as to what i'm gonna do for my base wait let me get my makeup back okay sorry if you heard my knees crack <laughs> i am in fact a 60 year old in a 24 year old body but oh okay wait where's my hair clip okay mm. Not only does she have a 60 year old bones, she also has a 60 year old memory. Okay, I don't know where that is, so we move. But first I'm gonna go in with the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. Um, I've been looking up, was it skin cycling? I know it was a trend on TikTok ages ago, but I'm really not on like the skincare side of TikTok, so I never really see these things, but I am an avid reader of my lord and saviour, Refinery29. <laughs> so I always read their skincare and hair care stuff. So they had an article on skin cycling a few weeks, maybe even months ago, that I came across again. I did actually read it before and I was like, I don't really understand that. But then I found it again and I was like, oh, that does make sense. So I'm trying to do that, um, which means I can't just put a bunch of retinols and acids on my face every day, which is okay. I'm also gonna use this Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I've had this forever, but I don't really wear makeup though. Actually, no. I just wasn't socializing for a very long time of my life, so. <laughs> so I wasn't wearing any makeup, but I'm gonna try this out today because I do love my Rare Beauty Primer, which is like my goat primer, love it so much. But we're gonna try both. Cause I know this is really good for my under eyes. Don't know about this one. Anyway, we have to use sunscreen first because weirdly enough, even though you wear sunscreen, even when the sun is not out, aka not summer, it's very sunny today, and I'm a bit confused by that. But anyway, sunscreen on-ish, and oh god, we need to pick out an outfit. Ugh, I don't know what outfit to wear. Oh my god, I forgot I fell asleep with mascara on, now I look like a panda, oh Jesus. I have bath by the way, but you know when you like... You bath and then you forgot that you went to sleep with mascara on and then you don't really like focus on your eyes because you also don't want to go blind in the bath. Yeah, that's what happened. Oh god, my eyebrows are so bad. Okay, anyway, Mary, stop being self-deprecating. Let's get in to the makeup. Oh, I'm scared to use this. Sometimes it's a bit patchy. Okay, let's do it. So yeah, I'm going with the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I'll just put that on first and then we'll see what happens. Because it might be nice because it's kind of like, it's kind of like a CC cream, which I've actually never used, so maybe it's nothing like a CC cream. But I think it kind of like covers up 
my skin a bit. And so maybe if I use this and then I go in with a primer under my eyes, that would, that would serve some looks. Or it couldn't, <laughs> which is always an option. My baby, my Rare Beauty primer. I was sent this and honestly it's like the best primer ever. I do have the Tatcha primer but it doesn't, it doesn't compare to the Rare Beauty one. Even though I do love the Tatcha one, it smells divine. It's just like the Rare Beauty one. Because I have like a lot of creases on my under eyes, I find that the Rare Beauty one just keeps everything like in the same place and stops the smudging as much. And I respect Selena Gomez for that. I also respect Selena Gomez just like period, but whatever. Okay, that step is done. Guys, I feel like we haven't spoken about the picture of Matty Healy and Phoebe Bridges kissing and really and truly like that saved my life. You know, I had 12 reasons and now I'm back to 11. That picture really, it did a number on me because I just love them so much. And Bo Burnham's also in it and apparently he's problematic so we're not going to speak about him. Even though like, I actually know nothing about that man. When I saw that picture I was like, who is this homeless man? And then apparently it was Bo Burnham, so yeah, that was kind of awkward. <laughs> um, I haven't watched that Netflix show that he did that everyone was like obsessed with, but I do know the songs from it, kind of, because they were all over TikTok. Also, guys, I was thinking the other day, do you remember the lockdown part of TikTok? Like, I'm talking like the beginning of lockdown. I didn't have a TikTok account, but like every now and then I would download the app and just watch dances. And I was mesmerized. I was like, wow, like, why did I quit dance? Like, I literally used to watch Charlie D'Amelio and Addison Rae, and I'd be like, oh, I wanna do that. Now I'm like, oh my God, Mary, you were literally 20 years old, like, please behave. But yeah, I don't know. I just thought I'd mention that. Also the time in TikTok when people would put like a tweet above their head and just sit there and point and laugh. What was that about? I think we need to unpack that because there's a button on Twitter called retweet and you could have just pressed that, you know? Oh my God, no, these under eye bags are not budging, huh? Wow, not a cute day for Merry Nation. Also my skin is just being a problematic little B word. Um, okay, let's do this. Guys, if you ever ask me for a makeup routine, this is what you're gonna get. Cause I, I don't know how to make up. I just see parts of my face I don't like and I say cover and then we do that. Oh god, I do absolutely despise having to do my eyebrows when they're not done though. I say this literally every single video where my eyebrows haven't been waxed in a week upwards. Like, it's just really difficult because I feel like from a distance you can't see it but there are so many tiny hairs that like pick up the eyebrow product that it just looks like 2011 Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow and I'm not really a fan. I never actually owned that product contrary to popular belief. Contrary. I always get that phrase mixed up. I'm always like popular to contrary belief. Contrary to popular belief. I've never actually used the dip brow pomade because not all of us grew up rich. Sorry, surprise, that shit was expensive. Um, so yeah, I never actually got on the hype but I did used to have eyebrows that looked like I did own that product. So really and truly, get the fucking Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade look with a £2.99 Rimmel London pencil. Deep. That's my base. Right? <laughs> She's not good at makeup. Well, let me tell you that much. Do we bake? Wake and bake. Oh, I miss uni. God, I... No, I had a problem at uni. I, don't, I, I shouldn't... I shouldn't endorse that. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna bake my under eyes with this hourglass um, setting powder. I got it in a Space NK Christmas advent calendar. Obviously that's what advent calendars are for. Christmas, you fucking idiot. Um, I'm super excited for tonight though. I know I mentioned it in yesterday's vlog, but I'm so, so excited to hang out with Eli and Veronica, who is her best friend. Um, because they're just such angels, they were so nice. In the brief encounter that we had, I was like, wow, please move to London and be my best friend forever and ever. You know? You know when you just meet people like that and you're like, oh, wow, good for you, your parents raised you so right. I hope people will look at me like that, because my parents really did put in a lot of work to raise me right. 
<laughs> so my memory card was full. So I was sat there for 10 minutes googling what the fuck was wrong with my camera. It turns out it was just me. Also, if you can see like smoke coming in, my house isn't on fire. I've just got incense burning. But anyway, let's get back into the makeup routine. I paused, I did wipe off some of my um, setting powder just because I didn't want to look like a ghost because I still had to figure out what was wrong with my camera. And I had a bowl of Weetabix. Pardon me. But we're back in action. So I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Bronzer in the shade Nude Bronze Light. Don't know what that means. I literally just bought it in the Black Friday sale because in Liberty, they don't put prices on things. And that's always a bad sign um, because I don't like to ask. So I just take it to the checkout and then they're like, bam, 50 pounds. And I'm like, bam, how about no? But... I said yes, and I bought it. Because it was actually £42 with the Black Friday sale, which is, mm, I was looking for more, like, £20, because it's a flipping bronzer. But, you know, a girlie can't complain. It's um, a nice bronzer, I guess. I don't really know much about bronzer. I just know that Kim Kardashian uses it. <laughs> okay. I've been big into blush recently. Not successfully, but I've been big into it. I'm using the Rose Ink... Heliotrope? God, why do they make makeup names so complicated? Like, I can barely read, please. But yeah, I'm just gonna... This is the ugliest thing you have to do during makeup. I always thought the worst thing you could do when putting on makeup was like, you know when you put on mascara and you have to open your mouth and you're like... No, putting on blush, you're like... No, okay, now I put on too much. <laughs> I love it when the girlies like put it on their nose, but I look like I just have a cold. So I, I don't put it on my nose. Just put it like above my contour line and then blend it upwards. A lot of things I don't know in this life, I know, shocker, because I'm a fucking genius, but it's hard being me, what can I say? Um, no, I'm not gonna do mascara. What else do I need to do with my makeup? Oh, a little bit of highlighter. So actually, I'm gonna contour my nose as well. Let me get that. I used the eye brush, um, an old friend of mine got it for me ages ago, which is kind of proof that she never knew who I really was because I don't wear eyeshadow. Never have, never will, baby. But yeah, she bought me this eye contour brush, which I assume is for eyeshadow, but I just use it for my nose contour because it has a nice little swoopy swoop on the end of the brush. And I'm like, okay, let's swoopy swoop together. Let's fucking go. I really want to try the Refi um, like primer thing. And here's the thing about Refi, okay? I saw it in Selfridges before it was like this massive thing. And yes, if you're one of those people that gets annoyed by people who are like, well, I, I saw it first, then you might want to click out of this video. But I saw it in Selfridges before it became this like TikTok sensation. And I was like, oh, I've never heard of it. Like, looks kind of cool though. I like the simplistic um, packaging going in with the highlighter by the way in Prosecco pop from Becca um but yeah I was like oh I, I like the simplicity of it and then I bought the brow gel eventually and then everyone's been making these tutorials on the face primer which I do not have and I had seen it in Selfridges overly in stock like an abundance of it on the shelves and then I went in the other day to buy it because I'd seen everyone else buying it and it was sold out and they don't even have a concession person for the Refi stand. At least that's what the woman told me. They had one the first, second time I went there. Um, and then, yeah, I went in the other day and they're like, um, this is Kylie Skin. We don't work for Refi. I was like, I just wanted to know if there was any more stock. So sorry, Kylie. Didn't mean to interrupt your income. I'm sure I didn't do that, but... Hey, no, I'm joking. The girls were really sweet about it, but they 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 did say they worked at Kylie Skin, and I was like, hee hee, sorry. Um, but yeah, I really want to try that face primer thing now because it gives like a really glowy look. Unless everyone has been deceiving me on TikTok, which wouldn't surprise me, but um, because actually I've only ever seen ads for it, I haven't actually seen anyone use it in their video. But like, this is from Refi, and my brow gel is from Refi. And I've used their bronzer, and I think their brushes are really good. So I don't doubt that their products are really good. Well, at least the product that I want to try. Um, I just can't find it anywhere. And I'm not ordering it online, because this is the thing with ordering things online. This is where they get you. 
they say to me you have to spend over a certain amount to get free shipping and i'm always going to say yes to free shipping and then i end up spending 100 pounds so i'm not going to do that just protection of my own soul and body um okay i think it's basically my face done i'll put some brow gel on but i'm gonna put some i'm gonna put some setting spray on first oh i need to sneeze oh no i don't okay um yeah so cute oh i am gonna wear lipstick hang on okay 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 i'm back whoa she's out of focus hello oh no come on hello oh so i've been having a lip problem recently my lips are so so dry and weirdly enough i got a targeted ad about it like a doctor ad i don't know and it was saying how your lips are dry because of your lip products which i don't think is true because i invest in lip products okay and like i have all of them they can't all be making my lips bad but i'm recently using i've been recent take it from the top I've recently been using this Gizu honey oil. I say recently, I bought it two days ago. But I'm gonna let that marinate on my lips for a bit. Whilst my setting spray is setting, let's put some mascara on. Oh my god, my eyebrows, guys, it's actually a joke. Anyway, let's put some mascara on. This is the Rare Beauty Mascara in black. I've always wanted to be a girly that wears brown, but um, my hair is a bit too dark for that, I think. Maybe that's the point, I don't know, but I I think I'd look horrible with brown mascara, so I haven't done it. Because I also have brown eyes, I feel like if you have blue eyes it looks kind of sick, but yeah. Anyway, not going to put a lot on because it's cold out and my eyes water a lot, so I don't want to smudge my mascara du during the day. I, at this point, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, but I actually need to call SoulCycle and cancel my class, or like... I'm going to ask them to change it to tomorrow because I don't want to miss out on the class. Even though I did tell everyone that I would be riding today. I lied. Ha. Huh. No, yesterday was just too much. And I have to put me first. You know, I just have to put me first because at the end of the day, if I ride today, I might break a knee. And that wouldn't be fun because Christmas is next week. Christmas is next week, guys. Can you believe that? Next week. Wow. That's absolutely crazy. What's even crazier is... I haven't got anyone's presents. I went Christmas shopping the other day. Um, I just bought myself stuff. So, you know, lots of love. Peace and love, girly pops. Your present is me. My presence is your present. Um, okay, I think that's enough. Mm. Mm. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. I, I know, I know. Before anyone says it, I know I need to wipe the top of my eyelids. <laughs> but um, I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame. Purr, okay. It's actually quite a like distinctive colour, but it gives me autumn winter vibes. Okay, great. Got it on my teeth already. I think it's meant to be matte, so I don't know why I put the honey lip gloss on. Because now it's not really doing its thing. Can you see that? Oh yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> why am I treating my lips like they're a colouring book? How does one put on lipstick? That looks awful. Okay. I don't know, I'll wear it in, you know? Anyway, let's do hair. Let me put a lipstick in my hair. Okay. I'm just gonna slick it back. Um I don't I don't ever do anything to, oh my god that really hurt. I don't do anything different with my hair ever. So oh, oh it's drying up a bit. Okay. We have to act fast, ladies, because gel in back dry hair is a treacherous task. I don't actually know what that word means. Please don't tell Taylor Swift because that was one of my most played songs this year. But I don't actually know what that word means. And I'm not willing to look. I have four dictionaries in my room. Like the big boy ones. Like, let me show you. Wait, let me dry my hands. Like these kind of dictionaries. Because my dad is always like, stop asking me what words mean and look for yourself. And I'm like, but it would be so much easier if you just told me. 
you know, in the time that you have told me to look in the dictionary, you could have just told me the definition of the word. And he's like, but then you'll never learn. I'm like, yes, I will. I have a good memory from people talking, not from people reading. Anyway. Um, but I think treacherous was the word that I was trying to use. That seems fitting. Okay, so you brush your hair out like this. And then you put it in a ponytail. This is not the end product. Don't worry, guys. You just need to hold it in place because my hair will move at its own will if I don't. Okay. So this is what the look will look like at the end. Mm, do I want to do some, like, curls out? Let's see what that would look like. Oh, great. It just got caught under my nail. Oh, oh, oh it got under my eye. <laughs> Fun. I look like um, that guy on the Compare the Market ad. Okay, I think we could we could work with this. Yeah, we can work with maybe we'll do like a messy a messy kind of look. Like and then slick that back. How do we feel about that? This isn't a TikTok, it's not in real time. Okay. Well actually maybe mm, I don't know. Mm. Okay, vocals. Okay. Um so I'm just using the eco style gel i always call it eco styler it's actually not called that the eco style gel you just get a big old slabber of it and whack it on okay this is where it gets difficult because i can't get these two it's like you have to miss out specific bits but then you also need to get your edges it's so difficult okay so we'll do that we'll do that uh okay mary where did you put your slick brush <laughs> <laughs> my heart's going pitter patter pitter patter feel sick like i could throw up just ignore all the white stuff okay it disappears eventually just needs to look it, it doesn't look cute but i've just i have to moisturize my hair okay guys because i don't want to be walking around with brittle hair okay so now that's in place let's tie it up properly watch how much cream is about to fall out of my hair look how disgusting that is <laughs> and then basically you just keep tying it until it cannot be tied anymore and i think i'm going to keep it out in a ponytail rather than clip it up okay and then because there's still like a bunch of moisturizer left in it i just go like this and i Pat it out because today, well, no, tomorrow is wash day, so I don't want to wash it today and then, you know, not wash it tomorrow. That makes sense. Okay, I think this looks awful actually. Should have just slicked it back. Anyway, we're not done. Um, so now we have to go in with some edge control. Okay, where's my toothbrush? Oh, here we go. Toothbrush secured. So I do have edge control. I also have Gorilla Snot, and I think I'm going to use the Gorilla Snot because it's stronger. And I'm going to, like... I'm going to use the edge control on this bit to, like, get it to go down a bit, and then I'm going to use the Gorilla Snot on the rest of my hair. So Gorilla Snot is, like, super, super, super strong hold, which I love, but it's so messy to put on. Okay, so once I've done that... Make sure it's not super visible. Um, wipe my hands on my towel again. Oh, guys, I think I made a mistake with these two curls. I don't know. Or maybe I should have had more out. Oh, I don't know. Mary! Mary, Mary, Mary. What are we going to do with you? Anyway, actually, I might just use the Gorilla Snot on this bit. Well, that is really fucked up. <laughs> okay. Okay, Mary. Okay, okay. Just time for bed, you know. Oh, no, it's messing up my bronzer. Oh, okay, we, got, we have to stop. Guys, we have to stop. This is not looking good, my guy. I just kind of want it to be, like, yeah, like, kind of flat. 
but now I've fucked it up a lot. Okay, anyway, um, I'm not redoing it, so... Okay, then I'm going to use some hairspray. I use a lot because my hair doesn't like to cooperate. Um, and then just pat it all down. And then for the bits that are still like kind of moisturizy and jelly, I just go over it again with a towel. I literally have to wash this towel maybe four times a week. Um, I'm assuming like this gel will eventually fade, but if not, this is the finished line. I feel so ugly. I feel so ugly, but I just want to do something different, you know, like, well, like I always have my hair just like slick back. And I just want to do something different. Actually, now I'm procrastinating because I don't want to call SoulCycle because I always, I always get scared to call them. But anyway, I'm just going to leave it like this. I say that now, you may very well see me slick it back because it would be very easy to just slick it back, to be honest. But yeah, 